Tujo Pure. Revelio. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Alohomora. more. Rebellion. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal.
Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. straight ahead. be able to find me if I go up there. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way.
nose tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance. That's the way forward. see me at all, I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power.
This must be for me. ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. <laughs> Neve, why? May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And saw can... what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. <laughs> Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it.
Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bakar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted, in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragbore. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. On another adventure of... <laughs> I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece.
Ravenia. some exciting news to share. some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts, and Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. 
deep hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Hogsmeade, here I come. It is wonderful to see you back here. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't... Excuse home. me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet, just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask, are you afraid of spiders? You wouldn't know it by how many I've killed lately, but honestly, I'm terrified of spiders. Lucky you. Sounds as though you've been able to overcome your fears to a degree. You may not like what I have to say next. The Hamlet's overrun with the vile things and are acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcross as soon as you can. How is standing behind it? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Ah, there.
There you are. This must be Ironshear. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Wonder who lives here? That's the last of them. Confringo! Incendio! Oh no, this must be Mary. Poor woman. Mary was breeding these things in her cellar. That means there are more underground. <sighs> I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. This is where Mary bred the spiders. They're not here now. sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. I'm sure I want to know where this leads. Uh, best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Uh, 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 I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Confringo! That's one except destroyed. I should 
should get the rest. Bombarda. Share any more than you already have. Rebellion. them. Incendio. 
That's the last of the spider sacks. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. No, wait. That's the last one. And she's angry. I'll be having nightmares for the rest of my life after that. You're a deadly great spider. get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Uh, Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary.
It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend, but you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. <laughs>